Okay, so today we're going to figure out why the uh, speedometer doesn't work in the Nissan hard body, so stay tuned. So what we have determined uh, after I move this uh, gauge cluster is that the problem actually is the speedometer cable because watch me go forward and you will not see this cable move. See, I'm moving and the cable is not moving. So therefore the cable is bad. Okay, and as you can see, I've gotten the cluster all torn apart. Pretty simple, you just unclip the uh, plastic uh, pieces on each side. Be very careful, they'll be brittle not to break them. And all the other gauges on this uh, cluster work, except for the speedometer. The speedometer gauge did not go back and forth. And as you saw in uh, an earlier clip, the uh, speedometer cable is not turning. So we've got to address that with a new speedometer. Uh, cable or I have to address it underneath in the transmission to see if maybe something going into the transmission is not allowing it to turn. But anyhow, we've got to address this needle. Now, no one sells this needle. This needle is an issue with all of these years of these Nissan uh, D21 hard bodies. So um, there is a company out there that you could send just this part to and they will uh, put a new needle on it basically for $200 and we're not going to do that. So, um, and they will fix if anything's wrong with it and nothing is wrong with this speedometer. I'll show you the back of it. It's, uh, you know, got a bunch of mechanical stuff, but uh, nothing is wrong with it other than the faded odometer. Uh, but the, uh, at least the, uh, the, the ones that you can reset. So I guess uh, before this quit working, this truck had 211,000 miles on it, assuming this is the original one, but how do you know? So what I'm gonna do is either use a toothpick or a uh, one of these sword cocktail picks, and um, I'm going to attempt to uh, use some epoxy and make myself uh, a speedometer cable. And this thing is very brittle, as you can see here, very brittle. So I'm not really sure which one of these uh, colored things to use. I'm kind of tempted to go with this pink one, but does not match the other white ones. So uh, anyway, we will see. So I think I'm going to cut off the little sword handle there and attempt to uh, glue this at, at the proper length. So let's see what we figure out. First thing I will do is cut off, as you see, the end like this. And Whoops. then I will take this and attempt to glue it here. Now, this thing is kind of flat, which is good. As you can see here. And uh, this is very brittle. So what I think I might do is try to shave off this until it gets flat. Let's see. So I went ahead and moved this uh, to my workbench here so it would be flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this very small um, file and I am going to slowly file this flat, just like this. And what I decided to do is go ahead and paint these things white. I'm going to use some of this Rust-Oleum paint here. So let's see how that. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but I did get it quite flat with even a little indention in the middle. So I'm going to try to use some of this clear JB Weld epoxy that I've got and put it doesn't take much just about two drops on there set it on here and then let this thing dry for quite a bit this thing says it sets in five minutes but uh i'll probably let it sit overnight i'm also going to let those that paint dry overnight so i'll see you tomorrow okay i'm just going to mix up some of this little resin here So here we are a few hours later. I would say that it looks uh, fairly stock. So we're going to try this out. And there's a little screw in here, so don't forget to uh, take that out when you have to pull this out and put it back in. 
Okay, I pulled this uh, speedometer cable off of the sending unit, and when I turn it, it actually turns inside here. So this is actually turning. Uh, so why doesn't it turn when we are going down the road, since the speedometer cable seems to be actually not busted? Well, I think I found out. So I pulled the uh, sending unit out, and take a look at this gear. Uh, on this one. The, the gear is completely wore down, um, so I had to order from uh, Nissan this uh, pinion assembly here. I could only find this on eBay. I imagine your dealer has it. It's about $50 on eBay, and uh, basically this just slides in. This is where your speedometer cable goes, uh, and it turns it. See, the problem with this is these gears are wore out, and uh, it would not spend it. And I tried to look for just the gear and I could not find it. So I had to get the whole new unit from Nissan. So as you may have seen either previously in this video or another one, I took the speedometer apart. The problem is not in the actual speedometer itself. I put a new needle on that. Um, I'll leave a link up in the description if I decide to post a separate video on that. But what I found out is where the speedometer cable hooks up, you have this little sending unit. It is called a pinion assembly. There is the part number. Okay, so I am now under the Nissan and this is where the sending unit or the pinion goes. So it's toward the back tail of the manual transmission and it is pretty easy. It really just kind of slides in. I'll show you that. But before I show you that, uh, I don't know if you can look in there, but if you see that little gear in there, that is what the uh, pinion gear rides on. That looks to be solid metal that is not worn out. Uh, it looks like uh, if you're low on fluid though, it could wear out quick. That may have been what happened to this. I have not checked the fluid level yet, but we will. And there is the nut that we check the fluid level with. But first we're going to put this new pinion uh, gear speedometer thingy mob in. Now before I put this new pinion gear in, I'm going to put some of this Lucas assembly lube on this um, gear here to prevent premature wear since this is just a plastic on metal gear. Plastic here, metal in the transmission. Okay, here we go. I've got the assembly lube, so I'm just really gonna just stick it right here in the hole. There's an O-ring on it, so make sure you lube that O-ring up. Let's get it tight on there. Now, it is supposed to fit flush, uh, so without any gaps. And then you put the little 10 millimeter bolt right here. And then we'll screw on our, our uh, speedometer cable. Now, when you go to put the speedometer cable, there is a little notch on the end right here. So you need, let me see if I can show that to you. So focus, so that little notch right there on the end uh, goes into one of the notch, little notch there. If you see it, you see the little grease protruding from it. So um, we have got to uh, get this right here. Okay, so you want to make sure that you get it flush before you bring the collar down and screw it in. Otherwise you will strip it out again. So. We have gotten it flush, the little groove is in there, and I am going to now tighten it up. Okay, the part most proximal to the uh, transmission has knurling on it, you can see there, you can get down with your hand and tighten it, or you can use this little handy uh, wrench shaped uh, back of the cable there to uh, get it good and snug. Remember, do not over tighten this thing. Okay, first drive since the speedometer repair, I'm backing up now, so it won't be registering. We're about to find out. First gear. Here we go. No, it doesn't work. No, no. Oh my goodness. That's horrible. Horrible. It is now spinning, but the needle's not working. Hmm, might be stuck. Let's take it back home All and right. check. I didn't video it, but what I did was I pulled this back out again, and that speedometer cable, I mean, that the needle was stuck with some of that glue that got up in there. Um, just by touching, this stuff's so brittle, it's just powder, and as you can see, the numbers and the black stuff's falling off. I mean, 
if I keep this truck, I think I'll get some new, uh, you know, the new facial for that. But but right now it's good. So let's start this thing up and see if it's going to work now. Everything seems good. I hope this video helps you get your Nissan hard body speedometer to work. Uh, first, I thought it was the speedometer cable. It was not that because it wasn't turning. Then I followed it down all the way to the transmission and I noticed that this device here was bad. It's got bad gears as you saw earlier in the video. So um, put that in and put the thing together. Uh, decided I needed to make sure that I changed the gear oil. I used synchro mesh fluid, be sure to use that uh, because that gear is lubricated uh, by the gear oil in the transmission. So if you are low, it wasn't low by the way, but it was dirty. I don't think it's ever been changed. Um, so did that, did the differential fluid. You didn't see that. Had to drop the, the drive shaft to do all this. So there was a lot that happened just to get that speedometer to work. And um, again, I used a little plastic um, uh, cocktail stir uh, pick to make a new one. You can send those speedometers off and have them redone for hundreds of dollars. But fine enough for this because this unit will probably get sold. So y'all have a great week.